Stick around after the video for a 300 subscriber giveaway. Welcome to Chef Luke's cooking show. Today we're gonna make some smoked ribs. We're gonna season it with two parts pepper, one part salt. Rub it in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, these ribs are now gonna go in the smoker. Any questions? Yes, Chef Luke, I have a question. Um, why do humans cook food? I don't know, let's ask Microbial Luke. Oh, hey Microbial Luke, it's funny I should see you here. One of my millions of viewers millions. is asking me why humans cook food. Can you tell them why? Where are you going? To answer that question, we have to go to professional. And I just read this book called Ask Dr. Scott by a physician anthropologist. So it says here on the back that he lives in California and is a clinical professor at UC Davis. So let's go find him. Oh, I found him. Well, I think we're breaking the six foot rule, but since you're my son and we live together, it's okay. So can you tell me Doctor, what medical anthropology is? Medical anthropology is a social science that deals with public health issues related to culture and medicine. Okay, so th this would be a good field to answer the question, why do humans cook? Yeah, humans cook because uh, there was an evolutionary advantage and there's evidence that we've been using fire going back to maybe as far as Homo erectus, an upright human type of being who was probably in the genus Homo but not fully modern, maybe as long as 500,000 to a million years ago. Interesting. So, does eating in any way help us like survive better than species that don't cook? Well, you know, it's thought that humans probably first corralled fire and then later developed the ability to create fire. And probably the real impetus for this was uh, more than one reason. One reason is that fire creates warmth and protection against predators but also it breaks down meat, for example, so that during the last ice age, which ended I think about 10,000 years ago, we were hunting large animals, and if you cook the meat of say a mastodon or something, you break down the large protein molecules into their constituent amino acids, the same with the large fat and tendinous structures, they get broken down into smaller molecules. And it's interesting that around that time, our brains began to get really huge and we seem to have developed uh, material, culture, and language. So I think some people would argue, and I would tend to believe that our large brains and our large cerebral cortex is due in large part to cooking and fire. Cooking. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Anderson. So cooking food makes sense. In plants, cooking food helps break down the cell walls, and in meat, it helps break down the proteins so that you can better absorb nutrients. In addition, cooking food helps kill pathogens. The World Health Organization says that most viruses die at 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's the same with bacteria. They die at a very high temperature. Now, you might be thinking, why do we refrigerate food? It turns out that refrigerating or freezing food doesn't actually kill bacteria, instead it puts them into a more dormant state so they don't reproduce as quickly. But one thing is still confusing to me. What about the different kinds of meat? How come I could eat a medium rare steak and I'll be absolutely fine, but if I eat raw chicken, I run the risk of food poisoning? Well, it turns out that raw food and the safety behind eating raw food has to do with the structure of the meat. For example, raw beef has a very lean and dense meat, which means that pathogens and bacteria can't go past the surface. This means that once you cook meat to a certain depth on the surface, you'll be fine if the middle is still rare. On the other hand, chicken, it's easy for bacteria such as salmonella to penetrate through the surface, which means that if you have raw tissue on the inside, there's a high risk of there still being salmonella even if you cook the outer surface. When I first asked the question, why do humans cook food, a bunch of you probably said, because it tastes good, which is true. Preferring cooked food over uncooked food is a trait that is known as an adaptive value in population genetics. An adapted value represents the usefulness of a trait that can help an organism survive in its environment. Preferring cooked food is an adaptive trait because cooked food has a lower chance of carrying disease, which means that if you prefer cooked food, you have a higher chance of producing offspring and passing on your genetic code because overall you have a lower risk of dying. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I will make sure to do some research and respond to them. The channel just hit 300 subscribers, so I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, keeping in line with the proteins and the human brain that we talked about today, um, I'll be giving away an informational poster about the human brain. And to enter, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment down below anything. And then I'll choose the winner. Random
randomly and it will be uh, the winner will be revealed in the next video so make sure you're subscribed to find out if you won anyways thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and remember that I am microbially yours goodbye <laughs>